Hello Lions! For many of you, welcome back. And for some of you, welcome aboard. My name is Monaco and I wear many different hats. I am a school social worker, a member of the student support team, yearbook advisor, and co-coordinator of the SEL team. SEL is shorthand for social emotional learning. And without trying to overload you with a bunch of jargon, here is a quick canned definition of SEL. SEL is the process through which children and adults understand and manage emotions, set and achieve positive goals, feel and show empathy for each other, establish and maintain positive relationships, and make responsible decisions. And here is a quick throwback to another video I made with my daughter in its practical use. Monica, it's all fine and dandy, but we're at school. Students should be crunching numbers and publishing essays. There's no time for learning how to share and self-care. Well, to that I say, good day, sir. There is no better time than now, and I would argue it is equally, if not more important, for young people to understand how to care for themselves and others in this rapidly changing world. In all seriousness, right now we are living in a volatile time where the lives of people in our community and around the world are dramatically changing overnight. Living in the shadows of an invisible virus as well as having a more clear understanding of systemic racism is new to many of us. And for many more, this has been an ongoing everyday struggle. Academics are of critical importance, and we want our young students to blossom into scholars and beyond. And at this same time, how important is the Pythagorean theorem when you are suffering from feelings of isolation, have racing thoughts of not feeling valued or understood, or feel like you are living with a target on your back? We are all experiencing life a million different ways. Some of us on Easy Street and others not so much. SEL at Amy Dill is working towards leveling the playing field so all of our students feel safe, supported, and connected. Being a student at Amy Dill is challenging, really challenging. We have students joining us knowing they are going to be high school students, college students, and community volunteers all in the same year as seniors. It is demanding to say the least. With these high levels of expectations and rigor, we understand it is our responsibility to provide an equal amount of social emotional support. This support comes in many different flavors, but the main means of delivery are individual check-ins between student and social worker, facilitated group meetings with social worker, facing history and ourselves through our humanities curriculum and advisory. Now, it is here in advisory where you and your peers will take a deep dive into SEL. Two to three times per month, you and your classmates will participate in activities that foster self-awareness, self-esteem, healthy relationships, healthy habits, managing stress, resolving conflict, and so much more. The first few planned activities will be around you getting to know each other, setting expectations, as well as setting goals for the future. I really appreciate you all stepping up. SEL can be intimidating for some, and for others this might be a brand new concept. Thank you for trying it on and putting your best foot forward. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, wash your hands, and have a great day.